hello guys and welcome back to my channel so i'm back with part two of our cooking camp competition video so this video is going to be about days two and three so let's jump right into it guys sorry it took this long so each day when the kids got to the venue what they did was write down the ingredients and the tools they'll be needing for the competition oh, After writing this down, then we had to go out for grocery shopping, just nearby. I explain the game how it works, okay? Then when we got back, the kids had to play a game, that's the boys versus the girls. They had to play a game to determine who was gonna pick their tools first. So the boys and the girls had to choose their leaders or whoever was gonna represent them to play this game. No, you better win. You have to better win. Okay, so So you can hear the guy saying, you better win. He's telling the leader or the representative for the game, you better win the game because they are wishing or they are hoping that they're going to pick their tools first and start off with the competition. So my colleague or my friend goes ahead to explain to them how the game is going to be played. Guys, we really had to come up with this because there usually was a lot of scrambling and fighting when it came to picking their tools. Yeah. But the guards just can't just choose every single... They can't just take all the chopping boards if they win. No, no, no. Each time they pick it! He's saying yellow, yellow! Ready? <laughs> oh wait, it's wrong. Purple, purple red, red no. green, blue! Purple, red, no. purple! Okay, here's one. Oh. As you all could see, the girls won, so they went ahead to pick their tools and started off with their cooking. Same with the boys, they had to pick up their tools after the girls and also begin with the competition. So this is the girls corner as you can see. And the boys too. They're trying to put everything together. It's a competition, remember? So everybody is putting in their best. So this is the guys' corner. What I noticed was the guys were pretty smart because they had to group themselves into two and they, had, they were very good at division of labor. Like they will group themselves into two and share the ingredients among themselves and what each person is supposed to do. So the leader was very good at what he was doing. But we're using chicken wings? And also chicken Here we have the girls which I must commend for doing a good job at chopping their vegetables. I mentioned before the guys had divided divided themselves into two groups right here you can see one group already doing the cooking this group was made up of two boys they're already doing the cooking and right over here we have the other guys preparing another dish so that was pretty smart of them so like I mentioned before I didn't plan to put these videos up on YouTube uh, so there's really no particular other in which I put the videos but I know you guys are pretty smart and you can for sure determine which was for day two and which videos were for day three and at some points of this video you can hear the kids talking or interacting 
Yeah, it's quite noisy, but I want you guys to understand and to get a deep or good analysis of what is actually going on. So which one do you prefer? Chicken or meat? Or beef? Meat, chicken. Which one do you prefer? I don't know. You can taste the half of this burger and half of this burger and put it together. Are you gonna use the oven? Oh yeah. That's in fear. Oh yeah. but that's it. Oh but what's in the decade on? Why does it look second? I think I'll do it in decade on. Yeah, so you can hear them talk and uh, yes, this kids are actually bilingual, some multilingual. You could hear them talk in Chinese, um, some in all of them can speak good English and some of them can speak German or Dutch. Yeah, so that's why you can hear so many languages. Actually. So we need to wash it. Hey, Gabriel! Yes. Is it working? Uh -uh. But why? Why do you guys have the cheese is all over the place? Give me the cream. I Give me the. At last we're gonna cook them on this. That's enough, that's enough. You're still gonna make another? Four deck. And we're just gonna take you some lemon to cook that one smash. Give me another cream bag. No, but I want it. This was day two and you could see the guys getting ready for decoration and presentation. So you can see how presentable their dish is. And this was another dish by the boys. And another, and now the final presentation. Wow, so you can see the girls, they are also happy for coming up with their final dishes for day two. Look how presentable it is. Then fast forward to day three where we had the guys. They came up with hamburgers and some sandwiches. So this was their final presentation for day three. And then to the girls, they also had sandwiches. And this beautiful fruit decoration. They also had some vegetables, and that was it for day three. So, guys, leave your thoughts in the comment section down below. Meanwhile, don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and hit the post notification bell. I'll be dropping the next video for day four and our trip to the island. Until then, see you. Bye bye.